Today we're supposed to talk about how the embryo develops in, in the IVF laboratory. You may have already learned a little bit about IVF, but embryo development is really an amazing process for um, human embryos. So what happens is eggs are retrieved and, and a human egg is one cell. And the day of retrieval, for dads to be one sperm is injected into the egg very carefully through a process called intracytoplasmic sperm injection. That one cell egg is then put in the incubator and left in the incubator overnight. And at a set time period later, the incubator is opened up and those injected eggs are then analyzed underneath a microscope to see evidence the egg is fertilized and it's really quite magical. So in the laboratory, we have these, these really embryologists who are really high tech dream makers and they not only, you know, um, control the, the temperature and humidity and oxygen in incubators, but they also look at embryos every day. So the day after fertilization, when we look at an embryo, you have a one cell structure that has two nuclei. Every cell in your body has one nucleus. But this one special day of your development, you had two nuclei. And that's how you document fertilization is the male and female pronuclei that are then gonna merge into a single nuclei. nuclei. That one cell embryo, which is a zygote, then goes from one cell to two cells, to four cells, to eight cells, to 16 to 32. And right around the 32 to 64 stage, a little ball of cells that's gonna become the embryo is defined and some cells are going to become the placenta are defined. And that 64 to 120 cell embryo kind of blossoms into a flower where you can have the inner cell mass, the part that makes the baby, the outer cell mass, mass the part that makes the placenta. And to have a successful blastocyst development, you need, health, you need healthy sperm, you need a healthy egg. And we work hard to optimize all that for you. And that's what happens to an embryo in the IVF laboratory.